get ready. Welcome back to our latest installment of Unbuild, the series where we take a look at theme park expansion plans that never quite made it to construction. This week we focus on Disneyland in California and take a look at some of its unbuilt attractions. This park holds the title as being the original Disney theme park, handcrafted by Walt himself and opening way back in 1955. With the park being so old, it only makes sense that not everything that was planned actually happened. With that being said, let's jump into our list. Get ready. Number 10. The Museum of the Weird The Museum of the Weird was originally conceptualised during the creation of the popular Haunted Mansion attraction. Imagineer Rolly Crump was a mastermind behind the idea, having designed a number of models and art pieces that were a lot more occultic than everything else that had been produced. Originally created for the Haunted Mansion, Rolly's creations really caught the eye of Walt. Walt felt that the models and concepts were so different that they deserved their own showcase. The resulting idea was the Museum of the Weird. Originally planned to be the mansion lobby, it was then said that it would be its own standalone walkthrough attraction that would live opposite the mansion grounds. Sadly though, Walt's death meant the attraction was scrapped before it could even be built. Number 9. The Enchanted Snow Palace this unbuilt dark ride was originally planned for Disneyland in the 1970s. The concept was designed by Imagineer Mark Davis and was primed to open in the Fantasyland area of the park. The idea was to create a musical adventure which saw you take a boat journey through the icy kingdom of the Snow Queen. Along the way you would encounter a number of creatures such as penguins and snowmen as you sail towards your final destination. The Enchanted Snow Palace was eventually scrapped in 1977 for two reasons. Firstly, Disney had decided to focus its priorities on creating thrill attractions. Secondly, the company was putting the majority of its efforts into Epcot, which was taking up a lot of resources. As some consolation, it is said that this attraction was the inspiration for the Frozen After After attraction, which can be found in the Norway Pavilion in Epcot, opening almost 40 years later in 2016. Number 8. Indiana Jones and the Lost Expedition Miniland Technically you could argue that this is not an attraction, but more of a complex. However, when it comes to the unbuilt history of Disneyland, it would be hard to leave this out. Indiana Jones and the Lost Expedition Miniland was originally planned for Adventureland in the 1980s. It was believed that George Lucas would assist with its development, and it would house two Indiana Jones based attractions, as well as part of the Jungle Cruise. The first would be a mine train coaster, recreating the chase scene from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and the second would be a jeep ride through a temple, recreating other famous scenes from the Indiana Jones films. Unfortunately, Indiana Jones and the Lost Expedition Miniland never made it to construction. The reason for this was at the time it was competing for development against the now infamous Splash Mountain, due to lower construction costs. The jeep ride did eventually become Indiana Jones Adventure in 1995 though, so it's not all doom and gloom. Let us know in the comments below if you think this attraction would have been a better addition to the park than Splash Mountain. Number 7. Geyser Mountain Geyser Mountain was an attraction which was originally set to open in Frontierland in the 1990s. Historically, a mountain peak at a Disney park has always symbolised a thrilling experience and this would have been no different. The concept was similar to that of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror and the storyline saw guests riding a drilling machine when they suddenly encountered a geyser that would hurl the rider up and down in the air. Like all the other attractions on this list, Geyser Mountain never saw completion. Although, it is worth noting that work did actually start on this attraction in 1998. However, this was around the same time that Disney California Adventure was being planned. Due to the cost of this project, the construction of Geyser Mountain was put on hold indefinitely. Number 6. Mickey's Madhouse this attraction was originally planned to be part of Dumbo Circus Land, but as you might have realised, this land doesn't exist. Instead, this is known as Mickey's Toontown. Mickey's Madhouse was conceptualised as a dark funhouse type ride, which was based on the old Mickey Mouse cartoons. During the attraction, guests would get to watch Mickey and his gang get up to all sorts of antics, while listening to different pieces of ragtime music. Originally the ride was due to open in and around 1976, but its construction never even began. It is said that Mickey's Madhouse was part of the inspiration that saw the creation of the now popular Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway, which opened in Disney's Hollywood Studios and Walt Disney World in 2020, and is set to open in Disneyland in 2022. The reason for this belief was mainly due to the incorporation of classic Mickey Mouse cartoons throughout the ride. 
Number 5. Lafitte Island Lafitte Island was a planned attraction in the 1990s that was set to replace the long-standing Tom Sawyer Island in Disneyland. The attraction would be themed around the pirate Jean Lafitte and the legend surrounding him. It was conceived that guests would enter Lafitte's crypt opposite the haunted mansion and travel through the catacombs encountering a number of treasures along the way. With regards to why this attraction never went ahead, there has never really been a clear answer. However, based on the fact that the idea was considered around 1998, we can assume that the construction of Disney California Adventure at the time had a massive part to play. It's a sad fact that not even Disney has an unlimited budget when it comes to building attractions. Number 4. Critter Country 500 This is another dark ride attraction that never saw the light of day. In fact, Critter Country 500 was an idea that was rejected from the outset. The idea was originally conceived as a replacement for the Country Bear Jamboree, which was seeing a decline in popularity. The attraction was set to be themed as a soapbox derby race. In short, guests would ride in ramshackle cars encountering some country bears along the way. The Imagineers who initially proposed this idea did so thinking it would allow them to preserve the country bear characters within the park. But when push came to shove, it was decided that it would be easier to build a copy of the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which opened in Magic Kingdom in 1999. This opened in Disneyland in 2003. Number 3. Lightkeepers This is another attraction that was never built due to the land it was planned for never being built either. Lightkeeper is technically a show, but still relevant for this list, was themed around a godlike alien race who were the creators of light. Although never making it to stage, it is said that this concept did inspire the short-lived Light Magic Nighttime Show. The land that Lightkeepers was set to occupy was Tomorrowland 2055. The initial proposal to revamp the current Tomorrowland came in the 1990s, when it was argued the area had become outdated. It was believed that American pop culture had evolved and the park needed to adapt. Overall though, we feel it would have been a shame to overhaul a land which Walt had such a hand in creating himself. Number 2. Duck Bumps Unlike some of the other attractions in this list, Duck Bumps dates back to the earliest known history of Disneyland. The attraction was originally proposed for opening day way back in 1955. However, like so many other ideas and concepts, it was rejected before it could even get started. In terms of how this attraction would look, it was planned to be a Donald Dunk themed bumper boat ride and was planned to reside in Fantasyland. The idea would be similar to bumper cars, but in boats in an area of water. Aerodynamics were the patent holders of the bumper boats attraction and Walt Disney had hired them to develop Snow White's adventures and Casey Jr's circus train. Following its rejection, the King Arthur carousel was instead built in its place. It was likely decided against due to its hazardous nature. It has to be said that even if duck bumps did get the green light, there is a high chance it would not be around today. However, we can see the inspiration taken from this ride in a future attraction called Flying Saucers. This would later open in Tomorrowland in 1961, but wouldn't take place on water. Instead, the saucers would float on a cushion of air similar to an air hockey game. It proved technically problematic and would later close in 1966 after just five years in operation. Number one, Dumbo Circus. Our last unbuilt attraction on this list is Dumbo Circus. Dumbo is a Disney character which has had a major part to play in the history of Disneyland. You may remember earlier on in this list, we spoke about Mickey's Madhouse, an attraction which was planned for the never built Dumbo Circus Land. The Dumbo Circus attraction falls into this category as well. There is not a whole lot of information about how this attraction would have looked, however it is said that it was to be a crazy adventure under the big top which was led by Dumbo himself. It's interesting to think what may have been. Would it have been worth seeing the creation of this land and attraction in place of Mickey's Toontown? In our opinion, this is difficult to say, but this is definitely something which had a lot of potential. Let us know your opinion in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our unbuilt video on Animal Kingdom's Beastly Kingdom land, on screen now. That concludes our unbuilt episode on Disneyland California, now you're ready. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more theme park content.